In this video, we will be starting the other chapter that is the strategy of industrial growth from 1947 to 1990. We know the condition of the uh, industrial sector at the, on the eve of independence. What was it? It was actually a systematic deindustrialization, which means what the uh, Britishers have done, they have introduced the industry, but according to their benefits which can benefit the Britishers so what the Britishers have done they have made the India from the exporter of finished goods to the importer of finished goods and what they have done they have made India as the exporter of raw material whereas the India was the importer of raw material but they have shifted the India from the importer to the exporter of raw material and the importer of finished goods. So this uh, had a, a very bad impact on the Indian industry at the time of independence. Wherein the establishment of industry or the modern industries in India has also uh, made some positive impacts on India. Although it has uh, abolished or uh, it helps into the decaying of the handicrafts industry, but it was the glory for the Indian Indian economy, the industries which have been developed or established by the Britishers have simultaneously proved a very boom for the Indian economy. Now let us understand what is, was the importance of industry and how the industrial uh, how the government has helped after the independence for the growth of the industrial sector in the Indian economy. So let's see the importance of industry. Number one, so industry plays an important role in the context of growth and development of the country. So the importance of the country in industry and in the economy are structural transformation. Industrial development brings about structural transformation in the economy, right? Before, what we used to focus on, only the wage goods and food and coarse growth. Only these were the three things that we demanded. The food, food, cloth and the wage goods, right? But with the growth of the industry, what we started, the perspective of the human being was changed. Now the humans started demanding for the t televisions, refrigerators. Now we have started demanding much more like AC, car, refrigerator, the luxury and the comfort sources. So what the industries have done, they have actually changed the structural transformation. We demanded only the food, clothes and shelter whereas now with the uh, you know establishment of industries in the economy we have started demanding the comfort goods the luxury goods as well your laptops your mics pen uh, your you know fans cars your two wheelers and then your books so there are n number of goods that are being demanded by the human beings now n number of goods so the industries has actually done the structural transformation second is your source of employment you all know that the establishment of industry means more employment more workers are being employed in the industry more uh, workers are being given the wages so it has drastically improved or it has drastically increased the employment in the country so employment if the employment in the country is increased which means the people are earning the income of the countries have increased if the income of the countries uh, has increased which means that the growth and development of the Indian economy is being done third is your source of mechanized means of farming see with the establishment of the industries the machines have come up industries have started manufacturing machines the tractors thrashers harvesters 
etc so these all machines are being used in the farming so they have uh, actually changed the farming into the mechanized means in which the farmers have started using the machines uh, machines have improved the output they have increased the productivity and thus the substantially it has increased the growth and development of the economy as well as the growth and development of the industrial sector fourth is your imparts dynamic or dynamism to growth process see in the absence of industry growth process have confined to only generating the food for survival whereas with the growth of the industry the survival now is multi dimensional we need house we need uh, you know everything we need electricity we need water we need your uh, uh, you know uh, beds etc so the growth the survival was only the food but with the um, uh, establishment of the industries it has done the dynamism to the growth pr process fifth is the growth of civilization in the earlier days what we used to have we just uh, we used to have only the rural areas but now urbanization has led to the growth of civilization smart cities uh, and i can say metropolitan cities these have done the growth of civilization people now are conscious of their quality of life they or they want to consume the high level goods and they are more concerned about the good quality of life so it has improved the skill and business acumen these have changed uh, these changes have contributed to the growth and development of civilized society so we are more closer to the diverse societies so we have increased this has increased the growth of civilization sixth is your infrastructural growth see the industries have come up they have given the machines due to which the roads dam bridges etc can be developed houses your big buildings your cars everything so what it has done it has done the infrastructural growth in the economy in india and moreover that the industries have come up there are very service sector your banking insurance transportation communication facilities so the economic infrastructure was developed as well as the social infrastructure was developed which is your health your hospitals your education like school universities colleges so the industrialization have done the infrastructural growth in the economy again which has increased the growth and development of the country seventh one is your industrialization is a sign qua non of growth is a sign qua non of growth which means growth process and industrialization are so intimately related to each other that in industrialization is often taken as sign qua non of growth which means that if there is no industries means there will no growth in the economy so it is industries are actually the backbone for the growth of the economy so these are the importance of industry i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us